Prime Minister pays tribute to Indian soldiers who fought in World War I, reiterates India's commitment to world peace. Election Commission begins hunt for alternative to Mizoram Chief Electoral Officer, seeks panel of names from the state. Defence Minister Nirmala Sitaraman advocates alliance between India and China for establishing a new world order. Tripura government to build a statue of Maharaja Bir Bikram in Agartala airport within three months. The men in blue to clash against the Windies in Chennai in T20 series. Indian women to take on Pakistan later this evening in Guyana. Good evening and welcome to the Northeast News. This is Sangeeta Bhattacharji. Now the news in details. In national news first, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has reiterated India's commitment towards world peace and pledged to work for promoting an atmosphere of harmony and brotherhood so that the trail of death and destruction caused by wars does not occur. In a message on completion of 100 years of the end of World War I, Modi remembered the brave soldiers who had fought in the First World War. He said it was a war in which India was not directly involved, yet its soldiers fought the world over. Just for the cause of peace. Meanwhile, world leaders have gathered in Paris to mark the occasion. Around 70 leaders, including the United States and Russian presidents Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin, will mark the centenary of the 1981 armistice in the French capital. पिछले 100 वर्षों में शांति की परिभाषा बदल गई है। आज शांति और सहवार्ध का मतलब सिर्फ युद्ध का न होना नहीं है, आतंकवाद से लेकर जलवायु परिवर्तन, आर्थिक विकास के लेकर सामाजिक न्याय, इन सब के लिए वैश्विक सहयोग और समन्वय के साथ काम करने की आवश्यकता है। Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu on Saturday inaugurated the first India-built war memorial in northern France to pay tributes to thousands of Indian soldiers who fought selflessly and made supreme sacrifices during the World War I. The Vice President, who is on a three-day visit to Paris, has, will represent India at the Armistice of World War I centenary commemoration today. Armistice Day marks the 100 years since the end of World War I on 11th November 1918. The Vice President unveiled the Indian Armed Forces Memorial at Villers Guislain Town. India constructed this war memorial at Villers Guislain to highlight the contribution of these soldiers of the undivided India to the freedom of France in the World War I. Moving on to northeast now, a magnitude 5.0 earthquake rocked parts of Mizoram on Saturday night. The quake occurred at 10.45 p.m. at a depth of 24 km and the epicenter was Chamfai district in India, Myanmar border region. The tremor was also felt in state capital Aizol where people rushed out of their houses. No loss of life or property has been reported so far. The Election Commission on Saturday initiated the process of finding an alternative to Mizoram Chief Electoral Officer CEO who is facing a massive agitation for his ouster by a conglomerate of civil society and student organizations. A commission spokesperson said in New Delhi that in a meeting held on Saturday, the poll panel has only decided to call for a panel of names for the post of state CEO from the Chief Secretary of Mizoram. The spokesperson said next steps will only be taken after receiving the report of the team led by Deputy Election Commissioner Sudeep Chen. In Assam, the State Election Commission has made it mandatory of having a usable toilet and a two-child norm for all aspiring candidates of the upcoming, upcoming panchayat polls. 
participating in an All India Radio program on Saturday night, State Election Commissioner Harindranath Bora said the decision of making a usable toilet compulsory has been taken to make cleanliness a priority in the society. Bora said candidates having more than two children, except in exceptional cases, will not be eligible to contest the polls. The Panchayat polls in Assam will be held in two phases on the 5th and 9th of December. In more news from Assam, the BJP minority Mocha has pulled up its socks for the forthcoming Panchayat polls. Talking to media in Guwahati on Sunday, Mominul Awal, national executive member of the Mocha, said the organization will work for strengthening the rural economy of Assam. He expressed the hope that the members of the minority community will vote the BJP to power in the polls. Earlier in the day, Bichitra Narayan Chaudhary, former media advisor to ex-chief minister Tarun Gogoi, joined the BJP in presence of state BJP chief Ranjit Kumar Das and organizing secretary Kony Sharma. In Arunachal Pradesh, Defence Minister Nirmala Sitaraman on Sunday spoke about the importance of language and regional dialects of the country. Delivering the 7th Rutum Kamgo Memorial Lecture in Itanagar, she also talked about the importance of forging an alliance between India and China to establish a new world order. The Rutum Kamgo Memorial Lecture was organized by the Arunachal Pradesh Charitable Task at Dorji Khandu State Convention Center. The lecture commemorates the contribution of late social activist Rutum Kamko to socio-economic development of the state. First of all, that this memorial lecture is happening in the beautiful state of Arunachal Pradesh is something which gives me great happiness. Or those माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी का टोस कदम मुटाने के उस श्रृंखला में नॉर्थ ईस्ट को प्रायोरिटी देना और उनके ड्यू राइट्स को जल्द से जल्द ग्रांट करना और उसमें सिर्फ एक दिल्ली में बैठे हुए पेपर में कर दिया ऐसे नहीं है आदेश किया है प्रधानमंत्री जी ने जो आपको शायद बार-बार बहुत सारे लोग बोल रखे हैं कि केंद्र मंत्री मंत्री on the other hand, Defence Minister Nirmala Sitaraman, Arunachal Pradesh Chief Minister Pema Khandu and top army, army and civil officials on Sunday deliberated upon a wide range of issues including defence and acquisition, land acquisition in Arunachal Pradesh, issues relating to establishment of an army cantonment, field firing range were also discussed at the meeting. The state government requested the Defence Minister to set up an army cantonment in Itanagar. <laughs> Love and affection for the Arunachalis that you are coming again within a period of uh, three days. This is your second visit, and then you also decided this. And now today. The Tripura government has decided to build King Bir Bikram statue in Agartala Airport within the next three months. Transport Minister Pranajit Singhar Roy said the state government will dedicate a space to Maharaja Bir Bikram or Agartala Airport for his statue. It was Bir Bikram who had established the airport. The airport was designed and built in 1942 by the Maharaja after BJP came to power. The airport's name was changed to Maharaja Bir Bikram Airport. In sports news, the final T20 of the three-match series between India and the West Indies will be played at the M.H. Chidambaram Stadium in Chennai this evening. The game will kick off in a short while from now. The men in blue will be aiming to complete a clean sweep as they won the first T20 by five wickets and the second by 71 runs. They will look to give the bench strength and opportunity before the tour of Australia. In the current tour, the Windies have already lost the Test Series 0-2 and also the ODI Series.
In more sports news and women's cricket, India will take on Pakistan in their second group match of the ICC World 2020 at the Providence Stadium in Kerala this evening. The match will begin at 8.30 p.m. India time. The Indian Eves had won their opening game by 34 runs against New Zealand on Friday. Riding on sk skipper Harman Preet Kaur's 51 ball 103, which was a maiden T20 ton, Pakistan had lost their opener against Australia by 52 runs. India and Australia both have two points each, but the Aussies are at the top in the group due to a better net run rate. In Manipur, former Deputy Chief Minister and Congress Working Committee member Guy Kangam has criticized the BJP for what he called its anti-poor and anti-minority stance. Speaking at a state-level political conference of Congress parties, ST leaders and workers held on Saturday at Congress Bhavan in Imphal, Guy Kangam said the Sefrin party is also against the scheduled tribes and scheduled castes. On the contrary, the Congress party believes in inclusive growth for all, he claimed. In Assam, protests against the Citizenship Amendment Bill 2016 continued on Sunday in various parts of the state. As part of agitation, a Sankalpa Yatra bike rally began from four different locations, Khodia, Dhupri, Dipu and Janai, this morning. Members of various organizations, including the KMSS, AJYCP, Akrasu, Amsu, participated in the bike rally. The teams will reach Guwahati on November 16. The organizations made it clear that the movement against Bill 2016 will continue. And finally, in Assam, the Federation of Indian Photographers on Sunday held its convention at Kohara, Kaziranga. Gaurav Botra, Deputy Commissioner Gulaghat, was the chief guest who inaugurated the program by lighting the traditional lamp. On the occasion, Lifetime Achievement Award was presented to late Janta Dutta. His wife, Leela Dutta, received the award on his behalf. Before winding up, the headlines once again. Prime Minister pays tribute to Indian soldiers who fought in World War I, reiterates India's commitment to world peace. Election Commission begins hunt for alternative to Mizoram Chief Electoral Officer, seeks panel of names from the state. Defence Minister Nirmala Sitaraman advocates alliance between India and China for establishing a new world order. Tripura government to build statue of Maharaja Veer Bikram in Agartala airport within three months. And the men in blue to clash against the Windies in Chennai in T20 series. Indian women to take on Pakistan later this evening in Guyana. And that brings us to the end of this evening's bulletin. Thank you for tuning in. Namaskar.